In this video, we're going to attempt to solve this absolute value inequality. Negative 4 minus 3 times the absolute value of x is less than or equal to negative 16. You may recall from solving absolute value equations that we cannot address the absolute value until the absolute value is completely alone. This means we have to get rid of the negative 4 and the negative 3. However, we cannot combine them together to get negative 7 because they are not like terms. The 3 has an absolute value of x with it, while the negative 4 does not. We also cannot multiply the 3 through the absolute value. We can never multiply through absolute values. We can only distribute through regular parentheses. This means we're going to have to get rid of those numbers in a different way. Very similar to how we would solve negative 4 minus 3x is less than or equal to negative 16. By adding 4, to get negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 12. And dividing by negative 3, to get x is greater than or equal to 4, we will follow much the same pattern on this problem. In other words, we get rid of the 4 negatives by adding 4 to both sides. The 4 negatives and 4 positives come out to a 0, and we get negative 3, absolute value of x, is less than or equal to negative 12. Finally, we can get rid of the negative 3 by dividing both sides by negative 3, which will give us the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to, because we must flip the inequality whenever we divide by a negative, 4. Now we finally have that absolute value alone. Now is the only time we can address the absolute value. Here we see that the absolute value is greater than the number 4. When we see we are greater than a number, we solve that by setting up an OR. We make the x, or whatever's inside the absolute value, less than the negative number, or the x greater than the positive number. In this problem, there's no more solving to do, and so we're ready to graph a picture of these solutions. Oops, and I lost my OR equals to. That's going to be important. If the original problem is OR equal to, we want to carry that OR equal to all the way through the problem. That should never change. We know we're starting at negative 4 and 4 with closed dots because it's OR equal to. And with absolute value, we will either be between these two points or outside of these two points. OR inequalities move us outside of these two points. So we go forever to the left and forever to the right. And this graph is a picture of the solutions to our absolute value inequality. We can represent this picture in interval notation as well. Going left to right, we're down to negative infinity, which always has a curved bracket, comma negative 4, which gets a square bracket because it's OR equal to, union, to show there's a second part, square bracket at 4, and this time we go off to infinity, which always gets a curved bracket. We now have interval notation for this absolute value inequality. The important thing as we solve this is we remember we must get the absolute value alone first before we worry about addressing the absolute value part. Once it's alone, then we can set up our compound inequality and continue from there.